No more show at late night. Nothing but illustrious guests. Meryl, who is in the building? Oh, man. International superstar Michelle Yo is joining us tonight. You know what I'm saying? Make some noise. You know what I'm saying? Make some noise. <laughs> of everything, everywhere, all, all at, at once. once. You know what I'm saying? Woo! Blow your mind. An amazing movie. Everyone I know that was like, I was telling them, that I'm going to interview you. The question they want to know, when you first read the script, were you like, what the hell is this? Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> One simple word, what the hell is this? Yeah. What am I reading? And then you go, I can't believe someone actually, no, two people actually wrote this. Mm -hmm. And I must say, I've been waiting for a script like this for a very long time. Mm -hmm. You know, I've been doing my kind of thing and movies. And, you know, in the past few years, he's been slowly gravitating towards, I play the mother, I play the auntie, I draw the line when they say play the grandmother. I'm right, like, right. Oh, like, hey, 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 relax, yeah. relax. Right. I got time Chill, left. Right? I'll, still, uh, yeah, I'll still roundhouse you in the face. Yes, you know I, mean? like, I would. Twice. Twice. And, um, and, he's, and the Daniels have written, they have the courage to write a story about a very ordinary, mm -hmm. aging, Asian, Immigrant, like ticking all the boxes. All the boxes. And it hasn't been done in, it hasn't been done, full right. stop. No, I mean, I've been I'm, in the job long enough to say I have not seen something like this. I mean, I've never seen a movie like this. This is. Right. Has, is, was there any part in the script you were like, all right, this is, this is a lot. This is wild. This okay. is a lot. First of all, the script was a lot. Uh -huh. Then I say, okay, I have to meet the Daniels, mm -hmm. right? First of all, I have to know if they are certifiably insane. Right. That they actually belong in the asylum. Mm -hmm. And, you know, this is just... <laughs> yes. Well, okay, nice read. But when you meet them, I call them now my evil geniuses. Uh -huh. They write with such passion mm -hmm. and courage and they just like okay all the things that we want to do we love sci-fi we love action we love comedy we love this and we love michelle yo let's write it there and convince her this is what you want to do okay because this character is a real character to me mm -hmm. she is the ordinary woman auntie mother grandmother that i pass by going to the supermarket in chinatown or in any in centuries anywhere right right and you never you hardly ever notice them mm -hmm. because they are they put their head down and they know what they have to do right i'm out there i have an agenda i have an errand i have many errands i have to do this to make sure my family is well taken care of and she just gets about doing her her thing Got to go to the tax office. Right? Mm -hmm. And go, oh, that's the worst part. That's the, the worst. <laughs> mm -hmm. But the main thing is, like, you, she, they have given a very ordinary woman a voice. Mm -hmm. Finally, we can see them. Because they, they're normally very taken for granted. Yeah. Nobody really understands them. They're sometimes unlikable because they are so, like, step Goal-oriented. Yeah. Right. I mean, they're tough with their kids. They're tough with their husband. They're tough with themselves. Mm -hmm. Period. They're just tough. Right. And, and to make... Give her an opportunity to be a superhero yeah. and self-discovery to find her own self-worth and to decide and say, you know, this, I came here for the American dream. Yeah. Is it always a dream? It's a question. Right? Listen. But to be able to find joy, love, despite the hardships, despite the horrible situations that they could be in, mm -hmm. gives us all hope. That you know, and also there is a superpower in all of us, right. which is kindness. And we should use that superpower more often. Right. You know, empathy, stepping back and say, okay, we all have voices. Let's agree to disagree. Let's just listen to each other mm -hmm. and not judge. I think that's the most important thing is like, don't be so judgmental. Yeah, you definitely passed the don't be judgmental message when you gave the guy the ball gag. <laughs> <laughs> This movie is wild. No Y'all have to shaming. see it. No kick shaming. These are not even spoilers because <laughs> they don't make sense until you see They're this not movie. In context. It was just. Mind I enjoyed that movie so much. Can I just ask you? Did you the stunts? Did you do them yourself? Of course. Yeah. Did you I get love injured? Them. Did you get injured doing them? In this movie, no. Touch what? wood. Tim, touch wood. our stunt coordinator, the Bri Brian and Andy, mm -hmm. the Lay brothers, who yeah. I fought with with the. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We. Yeah. yeah. Pixelate her, pixelate her fist on that. <laughs> These two young men, they didn't go to formal uh, martial arts training. Right. Because, you know, they were, their parents came from Vietnam and they said, you know, going to school is the most important thing. We don't have the extra money to send you to, you know, learn martial arts and all these kind of things. So they grew up and they watched 
Jackie Chan, Sammo Hong, Jet Li, mm -hmm. my movies, yeah. and yeah. they learned from the TV. Yeah, from yeah. The, and so when I'm fighting with them, I'm like, wait a minute, I think I know all these stuff you guys are doing. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So it was like a dance. Mm -hmm. We just like fell into the rhythm. They were precise. They knew exactly what we were doing. But I must say, I had a meltdown that yeah. day when leading up to the... <clears throat> I just went like, you gotta be. Kidding. Yeah. It was, I, I see it, I was like, this is a lot, but it works. It works. <laughs> Only it, this movie, it I works. I swear to God, when you see Brian, he's the big one, mm -hmm. right? He's coming at me, and I'm fighting with the the with Andy with his pants half down, down. and he's trying to, yes. and you're like, just stop it already. That is a pivotal moment in the movie. Right? Yes. And I turn around, and there's, he's coming at me, and there's the dong yong yong yong. <laughs> I just went off. Oh. I, I laid down on the floor and go, I give up. <laughs> but speaking of that, like martial arts training, you've been doing this for a long time. Okay. No, no, don't stress it so much. Well, I mean, I mean, I mean, I'm like, I'm like, I've been doing it for a couple of years. Yeah, not yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. I started when I was a baby, you know, when I was little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 20 like, years ago. That's right. That's right. You were in the war, man, doing the, I seen it. I was there. Yeah. Getting into that world, you know what I mean? It, it seemed at the time, because when I would watch those movies as a child, it's like it seemed very male dominated. It was. Like it wasn't when, seemed. It was. Yeah, okay. Totally. Okay, totally. So totally. when you got into that scene, was was were you accepted? Did they bring, oh, Michelle's here? Or was I, it more of like, uh, I gotta like show you that I could, you know, kick that sign off the wall and have it land on your head? <laughs> so I think what it was at the beginning, you know, they they do it like I know Jackie and I are great friends, right? And so he'll say, but I do it out of love for you. I want to protect you. Mm -hmm. I don't need you to, you know, I don't want you to get hurt and I want you to be in the, and I say to him, to be in the kitchen and to iron your clothes and cook for you. No, 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 no. It's like you, what you guys should do is step back, give us a chance. Mm -hmm. If we really can't do it, then there is no excuse, right? Right. So there was a pressure where you felt to be accepted in the boys' club, you had to prove your worth. Right. Which is fair because these boys did not get there easily. Mm -hmm. They proved their worth. Yeah. They broken their back, their legs, their arms, and you know, and they did. They showed us what they could do. And if you want to join that club, you have to show us what you can do. Mm -hmm. But I was very fortunate, even from the word go. I learned from the stunt people. They were very embracing. They were like, if you are sure, you know, you can train with us, right? Let's yeah. see how many days you can last out. Right, right, right. So, but because I come from a background of dance, of sports, of a lot of physical activity, and remember learning, uh, the world of dance is very similar to martial arts. Yes. Right. It's about precision, control it's about movement, power, it's control. Repetition. Right? right. Mm -hmm. And also it's about choreography. Yeah. So I learn, I watch you, if you do that, I will do it. Do the same thing. Right. So I can mimic you. Mm -hmm at the beginning, but then I learned where it was coming from, and that was very, very important. So at the beginning, Corey Yoon was my first director. And I could see, you know, with the Sun people, because I train with them, they know what you are capable mm -hmm. of, mm -hmm. and they are confident they can push the thing. Right. But some of the actors where they have only been fighting with the guys, and yeah. with the guys, they're physical. Mm -hmm. it's, not, it's not a joke. And when they hit, it is contact. It's not like a, uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. It's actually like a uh -huh. hit. Uh -huh. It's like a <laughs> boom, 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 yeah. right? So then my director would come and say, just give him a proper pun. Right. Just give him the kick, right? And then he will respect you. Mm -hmm. Because otherwise, and I and I remember the first time I fought with this very, um, he's a very well-regarded action actor, a long time in the business. And he turned around and I can see, you know, he's like, ah, 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 and you can see his, his fist going like, oh, 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 I better slow down because it's a, a woman, I'm in front of him. And I'm going, and he goes, my director goes like, you have to hit him. Yeah. Otherwise he thinks that, you know, he has to be like, uh, uh, yeah. So yeah. then the next one was I gave him a front kick, so I went, okay, boom, and then I, <laughs> oh wow, and he was like, uh, okay, Wait, do that again. <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> Right, go ahead. No. Let's, go. Let's, go. Let's go for the TV. What do we have at the back there? <laughs> I gotta get the padding for that. All right. You said that this movie was something you've always wanted to do. Is there any other movie that you like? You're still waiting for, like a script or a character you're waiting oh. to play. 
I'm always waiting, um, but now I think what you have to do is you find out that you also have to take take things into your own hands. Mm -hmm. And so I have. I was a producer. Mm -hmm. I still am a producer. I was at the worst time in Hong Kong when it was stars. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine? Oh yeah. Oh man, that was a nightmare. It's, yeah. It sort of like helped me back for a while. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, it's like this is a great time for us to be good storytellers about our culture, mm -hmm. about the whole. And you know, we can't just sit back and say, why aren't they telling the story properly? If you're not going to do something about it, you should just zip up right. and walk away. Right. So, um, but I love working with young directors. I love, like the Daniels. Mm -hmm. They only did one movie. And I'm when my agents presented the script, they were like, they are very new directors. They are a bit, mm -hmm. <laughs> they're a bit out there. Oh, and risky. I'm like, but that is the, that exactly, risky. Yeah. But you need to challenge yourself. Right. You yeah. need to be able to say, what the heck, yeah. right? If I keep doing the same thing, then whose fault it is I'm boxed into the same kind of roles the whole time. And I think you also have to trust your instincts. You know, when you meet someone and you go, I have a good feeling about you, right? right? right. If I'm wrong, at least it's my choice that I made the, a wrong choice. When I met the Daniels, and I call them my evil geniuses mm -hmm. now, I've, I've felt their passion. I felt that this is what they really, really wanted to do. And I'm thinking, like, when you look at that, it's like, this is what I would really, really like to yeah. do. And I would really, really like to do with, because they have an incredible team, which they were together since college days. So can you imagine this group of young people since 12 years ago? I mean, 12 years is a yeah. long time. It and is. they stuck together. It's not easy to work as a team where there is no ego. Mm -hmm. It's like the two of you being a good team. Mm -hmm. If one has a bigger ego and like, I'm the alpha, right. uh, then it the, very Doesn't soon, yeah. it won't work mm -hmm. because it's too, you know, it's too territorial right, right, in that right. way. But when you see them, it's not, it, you almost feel like this is not work. Mm -hmm. This is passion. This is love. Right. This is why we are in this business mm -hmm. because we want to be here and we want to be challenged, right? But we want to have a good time. Mm -hmm. I did want to touch on Crouch and Tiger, Hidden Dragon because that changed the game for martial arts films. I, here. I, here in America, right? Because right. you're talking about budgets. You know, in Hong Kong, that was a really, a really low budget. budget. Yeah. Oh, Crouching Tiger was a really, really independent film. But, and it looks, but it looks so high See, production. I mean, I think right. like everything everywhere. We laugh at it. It's like uh, you know, it costs probably from a Marvel movie, the craft service to make this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a big production. Yes, yeah. we get it. Yeah. It's like it's amazing. No, Crouching Tiger was a independent film. And it's nice to see the young people revisit something that we did 22 years ago. Uh, but because it was it was poetry in motion. Yeah. And Ang Lee is still very relevant to yeah, the show business, to, to filmic cinematic genius today, mm -hmm. right? So it's, it's amazing that I've been so blessed that I've traveled that road. And today, bring you something that you two can so relate to because mm -hmm. it's about pop culture, it's, you know, yeah. the music, it's MTV, it's like color, mm -hmm. it's fast, it's happening, it's very, very today and re relatable. Right. 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 And that, for me, is the most important thing about being a filmmaker, is to be able to cross boundaries mm -hmm. and cross time, cross language, whatever it is, that everybody finds something that... They, and with this film, it's about love. It it's is. It's about family. Yes. It's about don't ever give up on what you believe in. Can We can go through hard times together. Because the minute you give up, that's it. It's gone. Yeah. It's yeah. lost forever. That second part of the movie, like the whole mother... Like, I'm yeah, not... No, I, was, no, I ain't gonna lie. I cried. I was like, yo. <laughs> I, I was like... You. I was like... Call it's, my it's, mother, an like yo. <laughs> it's an emotional no, moment. It's an emotional moment. No, but it's, just a, it's such a good movie. And it's like campy, but serious. And it's not... It's done so well. And it's all over the place. And like... Mm -hmm. Are you like, yo, I'm getting awards for this or not? Ah! <laughs> Let's be honest. Yeah, Let's know. be honest. Because at the end, I was you like, I, this is one of the few movies. So I got the link. And at the end, I stood up from my MacBook. And I was like... Oh, wow. She don't miss. <laughs> Do that next year when mm -hmm. the awards period got, comes you. on. Okay. Got you. We got no. you. We'll vote you in. This is like right a now. year. The most important thing is like when you make a movie. Of course, everybody gives their best mm -hmm. and their love. And the first award really is the box office. Right. Yeah. And now. This seems like the perfect time. And I'm really, really happy that A24 believed so much in 
the Daniels, mm -hmm. myself, our film, Stephanie and Key and Jamie and uh, James Hong, that this needs to be on in the cinemas. Yeah. And it reminds us, why do we make movies? This mm -hmm. is the magic of going to the cinema. Right. It's like when you go on a roller coaster ride, do you want to go by yourself? Yeah. No. It's you a collective with everybody. experience. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, definitely. If right. you see this movie with the right group in a the theater, you're all going to enjoy it. You all have the same reaction. And that's that organic feeling. Mm -hmm. You, you know? become a family. Yes. You're know, watching it all together. The sign of a good movie is when something happens on the screen, you turn and you look at the person next to you, you go, oh, or like when you just all have the same, you like don't even make eye contact. No. You just all and have the same like, reaction. Oh. You know, like when you know hot dogs are going in someone's mouth. <laughs> oh. That's all I'm saying. Oh. This again. Y'all do it a lot. Y'all do it a lot. It was, it was, I swear. Can okay. you imagine reading that on on paper? Yeah. <laughs> I'm talking yeah. to the Daniels, man. What is this? What is this hot this dog thing? It's saying ketchup and mustard and. And then the first that. you're like, this is wild. And then like the next time you see it, you're like, they're in love. <laughs> I hope these two hot dog lesbians working out. <laughs> you got it. Because it's the most beautiful love story it is. in that universe. Because in that universe, we've evolved to having hot dogs. Okay. Yes. <laughs> it's a serious question. Oh. What do you do when you, you know, want to relieve your stress? I hike. Where do you hike? Like, a lot of walking. A lot of walking. A lot of walking? Yeah, yeah. I do a lot. When of you walking. hike, do you get sweaty? Does it really glowing. Tent, like, like they, glowing. Because look, time. I, listen, I'm a part-time uh, masseuse, <laughs> and I feel that like you have the tension. <laughs> There's a lot of tension in your temple, so like you know, if you just right gonna there. massage temples, my right temple, there. temple, yeah. If you no, just you have to massage temple, like this. Mm. Like that? Oh, okay, all right. So then like that. Uh, yeah, oh, this is good. It's yeah. like scalp. Hey, I'm getting left out the three scalp. zones. Oh, oh, hey, hey, hey. 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 It's a hot That's dog. Right. Hey. It just gets you everywhere. Uh, okay, all right. Okay, all right. All right. Ooh, someone's a professional. <laughs> <laughs> Practice makes perfect. Hey! What can I say? Michelle, you are an illustrious guest. Everyone that comes on this show is an illustrious guest. What would you like your neon sign to say? It could say anything. It could be a poem. It could be a sonnet, no, 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 a haiku. No, no. My... It could be a phrase, a death threat, whatever you want. Oh, oh, oh. I, it's our superhero power. Be kind. Be kind. Be kind. You know what I'm saying? Be kind. And enjoy hot dogs. And love. And love. <laughs> and ketchup. And ketchup. <laughs> hey. So you in the building. Everything, everywhere, all, all at once. once. Go see it in theaters. In theaters. Don't you know watch it on Fire Stick. She's no. gonna find you and beat you That's up. That's right. And you can see her in that movie, she's gonna fuck you up. You know. Let's go. Yo, welcome to the official Deez and Mero YouTube channel. Like, comment, and subscribe to see some dope content that you can only get here. Mm -hmm. Sit back, you know what I'm saying? Watch a video or two or three or five, you know what I'm saying? Whatever you want to do. You can take your pants on or off. <laughs> <laughs>